Hi guys, Dino here from RenderCraft Academy and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you text animation like you saw in the beginning of this video. So let's get started. So here you can see our default scene and in this left corner you will be able to see all the shortcuts that I'm going to use. Now with A I'm going to select everything and with text I will remove it. So now we have this blank scene. Next we can go in top orthographic view and with the shift and A I'm going to create a text object. Now I will enter in edit mode and replace this default text with motion word. You can use any other word. I'm going to press right click to change the origin point and set geometry to origin. So right now our text object is in the middle of our scene. So now I'm going to go under font properties and here I'm going to replace font. So let's open up font menu and here I'm going to use this Arial black font. Now we will need to create each of these as a separate text objects. So here I'm going to use this one as a template. So with the shift and D I'm going to duplicate this one. And right now I can go and remove all other letters except M. Now we can move on the next letter and here we have O. We have two O's so with the shift and D I will duplicate the second one. Now I will create T, place it to about here. Next is going to be I and the last one is going to be N. And like so, let's move this a little bit there. And now we can remove our template here and let's rename our objects. So here we have M, next one is going to be O, this one is going to be O second, the next one is going to be T, after is I, and the last one is going to be N, like so. And now with the shift and A I'm going to create simple plane, let's scale it up and right now they are sharing the same Z location so I'm going to open up N panel and here I will move my plane slightly down and under viewport shading I'm going to choose random shading because I want to see each object as a different color as you can see. So now we can go and move to animation so here I'm going to lower down number of frames for our animation to 80. And the only thing that we are going to animate is going to be extrude under text properties in geometry. So for example if you play this value you can see that we are having extrusion effect and it's happening on both sides. But you don't need to worry about the other side because we are going to place our camera to see only one side. Now we can go and return this to zero and let's start with inserting our first keyframe. So on our first frame I'm going to press I here to insert the first keyframe and because we want to create loop animation the first and the last keyframe needs to be the same so with the shift and D I'm going to duplicate this one and place it here on the 81st frame because it's going to repeat after after that. So as you can see Blender is telling us that those are two the same keyframes by showing us this orange line. So here in between now I'm going to go and insert another keyframe. So here I'm, I'm going to press 0.05 and I will insert another keyframe by pressing I. So now if you play this animation you can see that we are having a desired animation that we want. And now we need to apply the same animation to all other letters but each time when we change the letter we are going to add the same value that we add previously more. So here next we can move on the next letter. So first and last keyframes needs to be zero. So I'll insert two keyframes on the first and last. And in between here on the 40th frame we had 0.05. So now let's add double that. So here now is going to be 0.1. Insert keyframe by pressing I. Next is going to be T. First and last keyframe needs to be the same. And in between this time is going to be 0.15. I to insert keyframe. After that we have I. So here the first and last needs to be the same. In between this time is going to be 0.2. Next one is going to be second O. So I will repeat the process one more time. This time on the 40th frame is going to be 0.25 I to insert keyframe and now we have N the last letter here and this time is going to be 0.3. So now if you play this animation you can see that we didn't insert the last keyframe here so 0.3 and I to insert keyframe. So now if you play this animation you can see that we are having the same effect that we need. But it's a little bit slow, it's a little bit boring and that's because population mode between those are set to be Bezier. So here I will press A to select all our objects on the scene. And here on our timeline I'm going to change interpolation mode by pressing T. It's set by default to be Bezier and I'm going to use this time bounce. So now if you play this animation you can see that we got the desired effect. 
So now we can go and switch to rendered view and right now we cannot see anything because we don't have any lights to the scene. Also I'm going to change real quick render engine from Eevee to cycle. So to add lighting I'm going to switch to shading and this time I'm going to use sky shading. So here I will switch to wall shading and with the shift and A I will search for sky texture and I will connect it to background like so. So now we can switch in render view and here you can see that we are having this sky texture. We have lights and also here you can go and play with different values here so for example rotation and sun size but the only thing that i'm going to change here is going to be ozone so i'm going to increase it all the way until 10 and now let's go and add materials so this one is going to be this orange color something like this and now let's go and add material to letters so here i'm going to use this uh, red pinkish color like so and now I will hold shift to select all other letters and the last one is going to be this the first one letter M and now I'm going to link those materials by pressing ctrl and L so now all those letters are sharing the same material now with the shift and A I'm going to create camera to the scene so right now we can go and switch to in layout like so and our camera is under so with G and Z I'm going to pull it up Let's go and reset our rotation and by pressing 0 I'm going to enter in camera view. I'm going to also zoom out like so. Actually I'm not zooming out, I'm moving my camera up. And also under camera se settings I'm going to change our type of camera from being perspective to orthographic. So let's go back in camera view, switch to render view and also here I'm going to go and move our camera slightly down. And also we can go and rotate it as well, so like so. And let's go and increase uh, orthographic scale to about here. And let's move our camera slightly up. So to about here is going to be just fine. And now here under render settings we can go and turn on denoising. And also under color management we can change look to high contrast to have a little bit more contrast. So now if you play this animation you can see that we got the desired effect. And also here under output settings you can change the resolution of your render and also frame rate as well. And here under output you can go and for example render it as a PNG sequence or AVJPEG or any other this movie format. Increase quality to 100 and here you can go and select your destination folder for your render. And here if you go on the render, render animation your rendering is going to begin. So that was it guys, I hope you had fun and if you want to learn more about Blender, check out our online academy, rendercap.com, with over 80 courses inside. The link will be down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!